Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester, with a Niskol. <gasps> Me? We got a couple of things to do before we uh, get back into level two. First of all, if we go into one of these completed Jinjo houses that we actually, more than that, on top here <gasps> is the Isle of Hags 20 notes. Is there only 20 notes? So that's that's just the trouble cliff of Isle of Hags, so oh, that, okay. that adds to the hundred that we have in there. All right. Where are we going? Uh, well, uh... We're going crazy! Going back to the Wooded Hollow, there's a, a shortcut I forgot to open up by the other level. Oh, well. But that's all right, because we're heading back into level one for something. Oh, right! Backtracking! That's a thing! Yes. I'm, uh, going forward, I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum, because... Uh, we are going to need to visit every single level again to get a Jiggy that we have missed. But I think I'm not waiting until we do all the regular levels first. Because mm -hmm. we get all we get all the moves, we get all the everything, then we can do everything in just one one go. But I'll backtrack here just because it's convenient and it uh, ties into how we're getting to, back to level two. So let's get the, that one jiggy that we missed up here. I just thought you were avoiding level two like the plague. I mean, I am, but I'm just delaying the inevitable. What? Yeah. So what did we get that would help you in this level? Bill drill. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Nice! Aha! Is this a whole other subsection? The Columns Vault. Hmm. There are a few specific columns I think we need to destroy. Is it a vault full of newspapers? In order to get the Jiggy up top. Let me see here. Uh... Should you just randomly select them, or...? Oh, I like jumping around here. It's fun. <laughs> I love jumping. Oh, wait. Yeah, you kind of did it. Ow! That was Stop. a combo move right there. See Banjo in a fighting game. Oh, wait. Aha! There it is. Ah. And now you see what we got to do. We've got 45 seconds for some reason. And then we have 35 seconds. Oh no, it pauses the clock, that's good. <laughs> Which is thankful, yeah. 10 seconds left, oh no. Three, two. Ah! You I accidentally hit the I last column, it throws it to the top one. I should be able to just get up there now. A dollar says you don't. All right, you're on. Shit! I'll take that dollar, thanks. Okay. Make it out. To, make it out to uh, Ultra Director Jester was right. Fund. You got it. Man, that fund has. You must be like swimming in cash right now. Mm, there are so many things you've been right about. There's, there, there's been a lot of uh, uh, delinquent accounts on that. Yeah, so. You have been right. See, this is what I like about you. When there is something I am trying to keep- one of the things I like about you, I should say, because you have a lot of redeeming qualities. I like to think there's a couple. Uh-huh. I like- I like how he, uh, grabbed onto the grass as a ledge. Yeah. And then fell through it as he caught up there. You gotta love it. But- but anyway, talking nice about me, go ahead. Yes. So, UDJ has this uncanny ability to correctly predict things that I want to keep secret in games that we do. He calls it, like, immediately. There's only been a couple- uh, details in like really big games that we've done where he hasn't called it and it's been a surprise to him and I'm like yeah yeah that's what I want well we as humans are pattern finders and I find a lot of patterns in a lot of uh, derivative media I am glad though I'm trying to think of the one you didn't call let's see you didn't call Doki Doki Literature Club's final twist <laughs> that that that's just all right, we're back in the prospector's hut because oh, we broke yeah, up the is. boulder from the jail. And What's up, buddy? So we're back in level two now, so that's good. What else did you call? Uh, I called out the twist in Pikmin 2. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, you did. Uh, let's see. I didn't call Ultra Just Paragirls, did I? No, that... I, I, I'm, I'm I, glad you didn't. I, I didn't call it a twist, though, because, well, yeah, that's obvious. Mm-hmm. Um, Crap, I've got like 10 years worth of stuff that we've done to call out. <laughs> oh, there was one thing that was spoiled for you, but you didn't call the rest in Dead Rising 3, and that was what I wanted from the very beginning. That was people telling me that Chuck was a, was a character or something like God, that. God, I was so pissed, but then I was so happy because you didn't call the other half. And it still surprised me. 
That's what I like to see. I like surprises. Surprises are fun. That's why that's why I make you play these kinds of games. It's also why I hate spoilers. Yeah. So there's a lot of, you know, going back and forth and back and forth. This, this level is a nightmare. So here at the train station of Glitter Gulch Mine, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got attacked by a shovel. The train station is actually another way you can get from level to level. Oh. Starting here in Glitter Gulch Mine. But we need to get the train going first. You need to throw coal in there? What is that? I don't like that. I don't like him either. I don't- no. No, get him out of here. This is the boss of level two. Ew. No. Jump in, Kazooie! Let's go! Oh, <laughs> oh you ow, are! Ow, ow, ow. Hot, hot, Whoa. hot, hot, hot. Oh, so Banjo gets to fight a boiler too? Does this coal monster have big brass balls? Old King Cole. Old King Cole. Great. <laughs> I love bosses where their opening line is, Her! <laughs> What about him? Maybe that was a note he was trying to catch, like, Hurr! Maybe he's, maybe he's clearing his throat. <laughs> so you guys are gonna be coming through my through my train, huh? <laughs> Not me, pal. <laughs> Ironically, he coughs up sawdust. <laughs> Sorry, we're trying to kick the habit. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna die in 150 seconds, oh no. Yeah, and he's got 50 health. All right, we'll start shooting him. Shoot him in his big fat butt. Feel the heat. Oh, and the air is getting... I think you shoot him for the air, if I'm not mistaken. What? Whoa. What on earth? You've got an illegal mouth, man. <laughs> it's good for the suck. Oh, yeah, I, I see your air now. I didn't know you had to deal with that, too. No, you fool! You're only giving him health! The fire doesn't work, okay, regular arrows- regular arrows. Arrows? <laughs> it's, it's feeling very Zelda bossy in here, you know? Oh, it does. Except instead of the item you got in this dungeon, you're just shooting him a lot. I love how the platform you chose is ah. like- oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> he doesn't have a face anymore! Yeah, he's talking out of his ass. I, <laughs> Maybe he's like squeaking his feet together. He's like, nip, 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 destroy me. And destroyed. Boom. A merry old soul for was beating old King, King Cole. King Cole. Oh, that's clever. Those, 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 those jokesters at Rare keep on joking. Now, how do we get out of here? Ow. Ow. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. Very oh. hot. All right, that's 18 GB. Not bad. You know what? I, I kind of missed the little dance that Banjo did. It's, a, it's, it's all for the sake of streamlining. Well, that's good. Because this game needs streamlined, as I'm finding out. So we need to open train stations and other levels to get there first. We can't just, you know, you know, plow ahead and go somewhere. You know, a big connected world, I dig it. At least more interconnected than it was in Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. It's really, uh, it's, it has that early open world type thing. Mm -hmm. I really don't like early open world type games. Because that means, oh, all, they're all interconnected, which means it's a pain to get around. Yeah, Conquer kind of did that too. Conquer did that. Jet, uh, Jet Set Radio Future did that. Yeah. M Munch's Odyssey did that. It was like right before Grand Theft Auto 3, where it really revolutionized the open world genre, mm -hmm. we had this kind of pseudo open world type deal, and it just didn't always play out too well. Don't mind me, I might be a little lost sometimes, but it's, just, okay. it's, it's just fine. All right. Generator Cavern. Oh, yeah, I can see. I can see it. Oh, wait. Yeah, do you have to use fire? Yep. Yes. You don't need them, but after what happened last episode, I'll, watch, I'll uh, yeah. play it safe here. Yeah, this seems a little self-explanatory. See, now you got me thinking about open worlds and them changing while the story 
progresses. Those don't stay lit at all, do they? Uh, no, they do not. Well, we're gonna have to, let's 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 blind run it then. Do 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 do. I'm sneaking here in the dark and I am not going to go fall. I saw that there was a chasm there, but thankfully my TV screen has brightness that is in the hundreds, so I can see everything. <laughs> You're watching this on 4K, baby. <laughs> Look at them pixels! 4K video breaks the game and 4K <laughs> video rules. It's 1080p that's upscaled to 4K and so I can see. Yeah, speaking of that, on your 4K TV, does this 1080p game, does it stretch all the way or no? Like, does it still leave little black bars? Uh, I think it stretches because it's being played on an Xbox One, so HDMI input yeah, 1080p is yeah, probably... Xbox One. Scales. Probably stretched a bit to 4K though. That ain't, ain't too bad. Does it still look decent? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a game from 2000. I gotta know. It's, it's a game from 2000 being made to run on a console from 10 years ago, and running on a TV from 2020. So what do you think? Looks pretty good, looks mate. Looks fine. Looks fine. <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm like graphics mongering Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> See, I'm not too big of a graphics monger. It's it's if the if they're technically good. A game is nothing without a good art design. I agree. Because that's what keeps games like this going. And speaking of games like this with art design, uh, oh my fucking god, get out of my face! Yeah, just as I was giving some compliments to how it looked, it's they they give yeah, me this like, like can terrifying we, monstrosity. Do you do you have a like a rucksack or like a potato sack or something like that? I have a shotgun. Uh, I'm gonna put this thing down. I will buy you an extra bullet. Put that thing out of its misery. You got it. Here, let me just. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Go ahead and uh, well, click it in there. Okay. Uh, well. Okay. All right. Uh, good. Good. Yeah, okay. And uh, aim. Aim. Right. Get get it while it's while it's not flying. Okay. Ready. And. Oh. Oh, the safety's on shit. Oh, uh, well. Well, we, we need her for a couple things anyway. So, All this right. is basically get on the minecart, mash the button, and win the race. So, everyone get your controller out. Oh, uh, do you, do you need an Xbox controller? Oh, right there. Right there. Okay, right there. Right. Right. Yeah, grab an Xbox X controller. I'm gonna just mash okay. the button. Fast as you can, go. Just keep mashing. Everyone at home, join in. You gotta uh, beat that fucking uh, bird. Okay, yeah, I've got an Xbox controller. Yeah, let's go, go, come on. Yeah! Alright. Is this it? Really? Just I need your press, help. Press A. <laughs> press the X button to go faster oh, the and X beat button. the canary. No, I would have failed a million years ago. Hey, keep pressing, mate. I'm pressing. I'm pressing. Okay, come on. I'm fucking pressing. How long is this? It's really long. Yeah, and I saw we left her in the dust, so this is great. Yeah. So we can probably slow down a little bit. Uh, okay. Well, it's just just a uh, nice casual. Uh, I'm surprised Kazooie isn't on the other side helping you. Yep, just uh, oh my oh, god. Oh, I see her shit! Oh, god. <laughs> speed up, speed up. <laughs> She's getting on us! Oh! It's like running away from a monster in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't let her talk to me again. <laughs> and that should be it, right? Right at the end, right? <laughs> oh, thank god. <sighs> anyway. God, you are haunting, and we gotta watch her go all the you gotta way. gotta watch her finish? There we go. So what do we get from that? Well, what do you think we get? A pat on the back. <laughs> I would love it if Banjo's dialogue changed depending on how much you beat her by. <laughs> well, we left you in the dust, you freak. Oh, armpit uh, jiggy. Uh, uh, yeah, oh. you, you, you can... Uh, oh, oh, uh, no. We'll come back for that one. <laughs> so she wants to race again. Uh, Don't put down the controller. Time for jiggy number two. We got twenty jiggies now. Not bad. Uh, all right, here we all go. Right, here we go. Uh, this time it's this time she's faster. So gonna need you to really mash it. Uh, uh, I'm not as good at bashing as you are! Oh god. Hello! <laughs> Alright. Getting a good hand workout. Probably break the tendons in my hand. You're probably gonna break your X button here. Oh, well, probably. You know, it's a third party controller. I don't care. <laughs> don't actually try to break it! <laughs> what if I bend it? <laughs> what if 
if I just snapped it in half, Nisco? Wouldn't that be great? I think that's a GameSpot, or GameSpot, GameStop controller. It is, it says GameStop on that's it. That's weird. It is a GameStop wired Xbox 360 controller. Oh, that's why it looks so old. Yeah. Remember this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, doesn't work too well. Oh, sorry, I should still mash. Yeah, the joke's over. Uh, well, this, okay. bit, this bit's done. All right, well, it's worth a shot. Hey, you did it, by the way. Yeah, uh, I can already tell. It, yeah, uh, I, I have I have superior mashing skills. Okay, so I like this better. That well, this also has to deal with your mashing. But comparing this to DK64, some rematches that'll be showing up here soon are bullshit. <laughs> oh, I got a piece of paper. Uh, oh. Oh, it's a cheaty, uh, it, Cheeto page. It's a Cheeto page. Oh, this has been shoved up my ass. All right, get out. Get out of my life. Still got that shotgun? Yeah, but I think she might fly away by the time I get it loaded. What? what, what wait. Just, fuck. Well, well, that's six Cheeto pages. I think we're gonna make a visit to Cheeto here soon. Good. I'm hungry. <laughs> I, think, I think we're we're about done here for right now. Oh, thank God. Have we met the area? Like, have we gotten to the place where we need to stop and come back? Uh, besides the train. Yeah, there's there's a couple here. We need a specific kind of egg for one. Ah, gotcha. There's still probably a couple things in here we can try and get, but not around here. There's there's another uh, toxic place I think has a ginger or two. Yeah. Might have gotten that already, who knows? We're going to Twitter. Off to the toxic mines. <laughs> what do you think is worse, Reddit or Twitter? Right now, Twitch. Twitch? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, you didn't hear about the hate raids? Oh, those? Oh, yes, yeah. that is extremely toxic. Yeah. Hey! Ooh. Not bad. Nice, nice. Just kind of cleaning up what we can and getting whatever jiggies we can before we go. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up, clean Woo. up, clean up, eat them up, yum. <laughs> you tired or something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what gave you that idea? The sleepy singing. <laughs> <sighs> Well, I know it's not a very dynamic level. I don't know, something about the underground is just... It's underground stages, and... It's it's a sewer level without water and poop. Oh, thank you. I was just trying to come up with those exact words. Oh, that was a rare box. It had a honeycomb in it, of course. I like. Train over there. Can't really go through, you know, either end, because it's like, Oh, you don't want to go down there! The game's got a lot. I mean, it's dangerous. <laughs> you haven't found that part of the game yet. <laughs> Don't think you can sequence break this time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of that, what's the uh, what's the speed runs look like for Banjo Tui? I saw one that I've been kind of looking over. That's about like four and a half minutes or four and a half hours. I mean, Jesus. Hours. Hours. Oh, I found the credits warp in Banjo Tui. <laughs> and I think that's a hundred percent run too. So I think they'll. Ooh, damn. Uh, that's good. I would say around an hour, maybe less. You know, I actually have uh, watched bits and pieces of a Banjo Kazooie 100% speedrun, and those are cool. Oh, yeah. It's just like, oh, hey, we found another Jiggy. We got all these notes. Oh, hey, another Jiggy. Oh, hey, we're out of here. <laughs> we'll be back. No worries. You know, I, I should watch more speedruns. I, I always enjoy, like, Tasses, but I have to, like, focus on the Tasses. So maybe I'll find something in the background just to listen to. Never say no to a Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, tasks. Oh, those are always interesting. <laughs> Actually, f funny thing, I, I watched a, uh, I think this is when I kind of, like, not hey. swore off tasks, but kind of stopped watching them in bulk. Uh, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Mm. Watching a task of that and hearing nothing but Charlotte Jonathan is the most annoying thing. Charlotte! Jonathan! Charlotte! Jonathan! Charlotte! You look at the comments, comment number one is that. En masse. Or like there's a task of the original Simpsons arcade. 
<laughs> and uh, the the most heard quote in the uh, in the video, as well as the comments, is "All right, now play friendly." <laughs> Speaking of The Simpsons, uh, did you ever play The Simpsons game? Yes, I did. Did you like it? I I really, really did. Okay. It's it's a little rough around the edges, but I really enjoyed playing it. See, I can stand some roughness if the game is fun to play. It's the best Simpsons game in a long time. Yeah. And that's why they haven't made one since. Yes. And I 100% of that game. It was a lot of fun to do. And I was thinking of, you know, what are the possibilities that I can make a series out of that? And then I realized I would be sued out the ass because it has official, like, animations for well, the not, Simpsons. Well, not only that, it's a comedy game. I don't think we could really comedy up a comedy game yeah. any more than the comedy game already comedies itself. I just want to see how many people, like, lose their monocles when they hear Marge Simpson go, Where's my bitches? <laughs> Hilarious. Where's my bitches? What do you think of New Simpsons? New Simpsons? Yeah. I'll have to watch more to get a... In actual opinion. I still laugh. Mm -hmm. Pretty heartily, too, at New Simpsons. So whenever I say, Simpsons was never good, because it just, it just always gets earlier and earlier when people say when Simpsons started to go bad. Like, first, you know, oh, you know, it, it stopped being bad around season 12. Oh, around season 10. Season 8 is when they stopped really going downhill. It was this moment after season 4 that they really started to go downhill. It's like, well, that's more, that's like almost the whole run of the show then. Then you never liked The Simpsons. Yeah. Cheeto, what do you think about The Simpsons? Oh, I think they're pretty good. What season? <laughs> what season did they start going downhill, Cheeto? Like, there was a Loki short on Disney Plus, you know, of The Simpsons, and I, I, I laughed so hard at it. And I heard a, I saw an article saying, you know, this, this Loki short is the worst thing The Simpsons have ever been in. I'm like, what? This? There is a, there's a hilarious joke in there. This Lisa Simpson finds uh, a Mjolnir. And it says, Who sh whosoever is worthy... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Wh whoever is worthy shall, uh, shall uh, you know, wield the power of Thor. And she's like, No, oh, there's no way I'm worthy, so I'll just, uh, I'll just put it back. <laughs> and, then <she> gets, <laughs> and then she gets the power of Thor. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> there's a lot of really funny jokes, and people just look, just can't see it, and it, it, it annoys me. Okay, so... So, so we, we, we got a cheat from Cheetah, by the way. It's, it's, okay. the, it's the, the equivalent of the Red Feathers cheat from Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, okay. Uh, speaking of Loki, I always expect Disney to advertise the hell out of different things, mm -hmm. different properties that they get a hold of. Yeah. I am actually... Ooh, another page. Ooh, nice. I am actually very surprised and thankful that during the run of Loki, we got Loki charms out of it. What a great idea. Well, I know how marketable Loki is. Uh -huh. it'd, be, it'd be foolish not to capitalize on it. Well, the, the entire Marvel Universe is marketable. Everything Disney owns is everything, extremely marketable. Everything is marketable. Right now, we're trying to sell you something. We're trying to sell you us. Actually, yeah, we're trying to sell you us and Banjo-Tooie. So whenever people say, oh, everything's sold out. You, you, you know, whenever you make art, you sold out because you expect people to buy it. Buy Banjo-Tooie. So this is a this is our fish that we had that got blown out when Grunty attacked Aww. our place. So we gotta help him. All right, well help help the fish. Hey bottles, the missus says, where are you? Shouldn't you be in the water where it's safer? Oh uh, yeah, I'll just get up on my bare feet, you asshole. <laughs> Aw, I was I was hoping we'd put him in there. Yeah, you want, you want, is it? Well, I'd walk there myself, but, you know, goldfish. Are you trying to be coy? Oh, please, no, it's like talking to Skater Dada and Poyo Poyo Tetris. So here's, so here's a cool thing. Just drop him off? Yeah, drop him in. Oh, hey, thanks, buddy. Here you go, have more <gasps> air. What? Dude! He, he, like, almost doubles your air tank. That's amazing! Is this ever mentioned in the game, like, how to get this? Or is it just one of those things? It might be one of those things, but look at that! Oh my god! We can go deep sea diving now! What a great idea, Rare! Well, ain't that neat? It's beautiful! I can do, like, ten laps around yeah. there now! Yeah! 
Well, it's time to do ten laps. Go, go, get back in the water. Get ten laps. Let's see how much you can, you know, dive. It's funny that I put a swimming pool in my recording studio. Probably not the best idea. You get rid of your couch for this? <laughs> Stupid futons. Swimming pool, the way of the future. Just, uh, don't get the microphone wet, please. Oh, sorry. Damn it. Well, time to buy new mics. Alright, couple of things to do here. Jiggy Wiggy. Oh, well, apparently we're going back into the mines. Yes, we are. I mean, we have to end the cheat that we got. I forgot it was the temple. Okay. Just ignore me. Okay. Uh, well, oh, wow. I'm just here by myself, aren't I? Oh, wow. Anyway, welcome to my solo Let's Play of Banjo Tooie. This became a solo project. Who said that? Am I acting enough, guys? <laughs> I can hear somebody! Please engage with my video, please. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is so much better. Yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Well, mildly so, because the aiming reticle is well, still... It's, it's better than having to individually hit in the buttons. Yeah. But I can aim better with that. Especially Ooh. when it's inverted. Alright, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. At least there's F. no time limit or anything. I mean, those cats won't really bother you, but they will get in your way if you want to hit the bottom row. You. C. Kazooie. Fat. <laughs> there's no E. I guess I'll just uh, hit the E. Again? Yeah, hit the E again. Oh, you can. And then RS? I, I was wondering how they were going to do that. Come on. There you go. Ezra Fit! The feathers cheat will double the maximum number of red and gold feathers oh, shit. that you can carry. That's great. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm just reading that keyboard and realizing that they actually make words. This is where all the cheats are. Double maximum. You can turn them on or off here as well. So you have to put them in first before you can turn them off or on. You have to have Cheeto activate them. Then you gotta enter them. Then you gotta activate them. Okay. That's not too bad. At least you don't have to do it every single time. Certainly better than, you know, uh, having to enter, like, you know, no bonus, you know, cheat, you know, slam every, blah, every blah, lever. Blah, 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 blah. Kind of streamlines the process. Everything's been streamlined, basically. Except for the fact that the levels are twice as long. Well, yeah, but, I mean... You gotta, I add, mean, some, you gotta add some girth. <laughs> add some girth, Banjo-Kazooie. Bring on Banjo-Tooie. The girthy sequel <laughs> out there. Uh, what to do now? Uh... Go see Jiggy Wiggy? Oh, yeah, let's go down here. Oh! It's a big ol' egg. Is this the bird we helped in the first game? Nope. It's Heggy! Hey! I think you might have some things for me. Oh, this is Stop and Swap. This is Stop and Swap. This is fine. This is where we're gonna finally unlock Swap and Stop. Stop and Swap bonuses. Cool. What you got? We gotta hatch each individual one first, though, but that's okay. Ah, uh, okay. I keep thinking Heggy has like a verbal tick and he's not actually saying cluck. <laughs> a little bit of Tourette syndrome in there. Maybe he speaks normally, but then he just, you know, goes into the chicken. Or cluck! So yeah, just go put the eggs there and I'll hatch them. Bah! So if you need them, you know. The best part is he doesn't even notice. Bah! All right, now I'm going to hatch the egg for you. Oh, he's got to take the long way around, man. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, just Ugh. kinda just gonna shove this up in there. Right up there. And, oh, there you go. Here's your stop and swap button. Oh! Hatch the future! We've got a gamer pick out of it, I guess. Oh. Well, what's the gamer pick? I might have to find these gamer picks. It's this right here. Oh. There you wow. go. Wow, that's, that's all right. Interesting. Yeah, I like my, uh, my, uh... Xbox account now has Kazooie on it, and, that, and I think that's just perfect. Mm hmm We gotta go through every single goddamn egg, and she's gotta go through this whole thing, and just... Uh, sit back and relax. Yep, just, just relax and uh, have the stop and swap unfold. Ten years in the making. 
Ha, uh, Banjo, Banjo Kazooie, ten years, ten years, Banjo Tooie, getting that stop and swap. Ten games, ten full games, Banjo Kazooie, all ten years. It's and we a got theme. a special Banjo Kazooie theme. Yeah, I remember when Xbox did themes. They actually brought it back. Yeah. Actually, uh, the Series X has this really cool thing. Oh my. I'm trying to see. Well, maybe I can. Oh, it's installing to my theme, but gotcha. because I'm on your Xbox, they can only do it from the cloud, so... Nah, that's fine. Um, yeah, one thing that's kind of cool is you can now take the images you get from achievements oh. and use those as your backgrounds. Yeah, PlayStation has something like that, like that too, but it's, it's so like cool. images that you take pictures of. Yeah. For a while, I had uh, Majima and Drag having, you know, Spread Eagle... <laughs> I figured, yeah, that's probably a TOS violation. Yeah, don't think. Maybe. So then I changed it to a time-dimensional portal in Steins Gate, uh, linear bounded phenogram. Uh, old man Sega comes busting down your door. It's like, you have Majima doing what? Hey, I didn't make him like that. I just took a picture of it. All right, that is a homing. Ooh, homing eggs. Oh, that's actually nice. More cheats, basically, to go into the Cheeto room for. Now, here's a question for you. What do you got? That gamer pick and that theme are obviously added after the fact to make Stop and Swap a reality. Yes. Do you think all six, seven rewards? Ice Key and six eggs? Is that right? Or five eggs? I think there's five eggs and one key. Five eggs and one Ice Key. So do you think all six of those Stop and Swap rewards were going to be cheats at one point? Probably. This is, this, this is probably similar to what their intended purpose was, to unlock bonuses and, and stuff like that. Yeah, because that's got to be a real sucky thing, where you have this... This is actually a really cool idea. It's like baiting for the sequel, but also, hey, if you played the first game, here's your reward for getting the second game, too. I really like that. Because the thing is... Ooh, br oh, yeah, Briegel the Bash! Briegel Bash! That is a reward for stop and swap? Yep, it's a new move. It's basically an, a, an unarmored tag. You just... Uh, his, and just <laughs> but... That's... I know Banjo-Kazooie has always had the Briegel Bash. It was an unlockable? Oh, Sakurai got a lot from Banjo-Tooie. I'm, I just I just love doing that. It's just... <laughs> Kazooie making you mad? Briegel Bash! <laughs> By the way, I should mention that because Stop and Swap has been fully realized... There are three more eggs. What? There's three, there's three more eggs now. Oh. With three new unlockables. Uh, uh, and wait, the, really? connect the connectivity between this and Nuts and Bolts is not over. Woo! Okay. Wait a minute, that can't be right. Because you got the gamer pick, you got the theme, yeah. you got the homing eggs, uh -huh. you got the cheat, you got the Briegel Bash, that's five. So here's six. So Jinjo's... Oh, the, yeah, cool. oh we gotta do multiplayer, that's right. Okay, uh -huh. we, can, we can try that. I think that's... I think that must be it. Uh, okay, we okay, got more. We got more eggs. <laughs> All right, more eggs. All right, there we go. Last, Last egg. egg. Here we go. Okay, tired cool. Now. No, you can't be tired yet. How do you think I've been carrying it for ten years? Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. That's a great line. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. They didn't even hatch in those ten years either. <laughs> Just a whole bunch of nonsense. So, was this giant egg in the original Banjo Tooie? I don't know. If it did, it probably didn't serve this kind of purpose. That's a... Alright, what do we got? Oh fuck! Very special Heggy Egg Award. This might be useful one day. Oh, it's... Oh, no! Our 20th birthday. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. They came and went, didn't they? Surely Rare will make the next game faster than that. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. oh no, not again. Oh cool. boy. Boy oh boy. So if you look at uh, view Great. totals here. Great. It's let's see. Ob where is it? Objects and items. Oh, it's still got the ice. There we key. go. All right. So we hatched all six of the eggs. And now we got stop and swap two. Fudge sickle. So what does that mean? Is that a new type of collectibles for Stop and Swap 3? That means... It's, it's essentially three more eggs, more achievements to do... Okay. 
and probably some more connectivity to nuts and bolts. To, to logs, challenges, and nuts and bolts. Okay. Well, so let's go back to Cheetah's room and enter those codes. It, it, it's okay. I actually kind of like that. It's still interconnected. It's still fun. They had a laugh at themselves. I guess. It's, it's just a, an urban legend that turned into reality. I don't know, getting 20 gamer score for that is actually very appreciated. So I, I, I'm gonna hold on to my data for, you know, for a while, I guess. So uh, if there ever is another Banjo game that uses Stop and Swap 2... Oh, I can't wait for the official Banjo 3. E3 2022. That's my prediction, by the way. H Let's see if Niskel Damas can work his magic. Eh. I. I. D Jux K. And did they really have to put Pem those letters? Ezra. Nice shooting. Zido. <laughs> can we put the U where the I is so we can have Nug tickle? <laughs> tickle them Nugs. That sounds gross. <laughs> All right, got some cheats to enter here. Enable homing eggs. Oh, this is fun. There's 12 cheats in here? Oh, the ones you know of, at oh. least. Oh! There's a lot of cheats. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. That's so good. Don't even need any other kind of alternate ammo for it, either. Yeah, yeah. Th thanks for that, Donkey Kong. Oh, that is that is outstanding. They need, need to be a little on the nose for the homing, but... That's a little bit. Still worth it. Brilliant. Well, next time on Banjo-Tooie, we're moving on to... Level three. In the meantime, I'm just gonna smash Kazooie into the ground. Hope you don't mind. Uh, you all have a good week, and uh, we'll see you next time. God, that's so satisfying. Oh yes. Ah, oh, do it some more. All right. Whew.